All right, what's up guys? It is I the Apple Buyer here today I'm back with a brand new video for you all and I bet none of you guys were expecting a double upload. I was not expecting this package to come in today, but it did. So today, as you know by the title, this is six iPod Touch first generations inside this box that I bought for $20. These iPod Touches are in as-is condition. Uh, the seller wasn't specific about which ones worked and which ones didn't, but he said some work, others have issues. So we're going to open this up, see if it was worth getting $20 worth of iPod Touch first generations that may or may not work. Cutting this final piece of tape open right here, this most dangerous part right here, although I don't think we need that right here, the most dangerous part of the video getting this all torn apart right here oh seller what's up with your tape all right so right here the box is opened up and everything let's pull this out oh he's just got them out in like a little sack here so open it up got them in a little ziploc bag here that's pretty genius honestly and let's open them all up and pull them all out so it actually looks like this guy put labels on all these which is actually kind of cool so um i guess we can just have all these here so um let's see let us see put them all out like that let's see okay so eight gigabyte first gen home button broken eight gigabyte or 16 gigabyte bad lcd about our bad power button, 8 gigabyte bad LCD, um, 8 gigabyte bad LCD, 8 gigabyte bad battery can't restore, and 8 gigabyte charging port dead. So I'm not exactly sure what he means by bad LCD, so let's just go ahead and try turning this one on first, if it does decide to boot up. No, it looks like the battery is dead on this, and it does look like this iPod here is cracked a little bit, so... Let's just throw this on the charger. All right, so from my testing, I have concluded that there are three categories for these iPods. Two of them are complete bricks. Two of them work and are kind of functional, but not really because they are kind of bricked due to their issues. And then two devices here that can be used and have issues, but uh, I was able to go through them. We will start off with the completely destroyed devices here, these two iPods. So this one here is the one with the bad charging port. This one uh, I cannot charge up and test it any at all due to the charging port. If you can see it inside, um, it's like missing part of the 30 pin connector in there. So, uh, so much for that, it doesn't even work. So um, this is kind of a brick as it is. This one, if I'm correct, this one refuses to boot up. So um, it goes on, it like boots up, and then it'll go onto the lock screen for a split second, and then it'll just shut off again. So, um, even though it says the bat, the LCD is bad on here, the LCD and the battery is busted on this thing. Going over here though, this iPod here, if we turn it on, does turn on function, and um, the only problem with it is that the LCD, the digitizer is dead, so you can't really slide to unlock it, and the home button's broken too, so um, I was able to go on this with, or look at it with my MacBook, um, there weren't any photos on it, and there was a bunch of music saved on this, but not much, so um, there's nothing really special about this, it's just got a bad home button and a bad digitizer, and then this one here, let me see if, about this one, I forget about this one, let me go. Um, check this one out real quick. Alright, so this one kind of sort of works. Not really. The battery, um, this is the one labeled with the bad battery inside it. Um, it does boot up and everything. It does show life. But as soon as it boots up, it'll like let you unlock it and you'll get to use it for like a quick second and then it'll die. So this one's completely just... I almost want to put it in this pile, but it can't be because I know it. this thing would work fine with um, a good power button or I mean a good battery. So um, that'll go there. Actually, we'll just put it in there because it is pretty much bricked. Um, moving over to this pile though. This pile here, I was fully able to use these iPods. They worked somewhat okay this one here was the the gem but we'll look at this one first this one has a weird lcd and it's, it's extremely dark you can't even see it um you will actually you can barely see it there it's just a really dim lcd um the whole device here is restored and everything it's completely blank so um this ipod here works fine overall it's just you know the um the lcd is just completely dim this ipod though i like this one this was the gem that i was hoping i'd get so um, bad LCD and bad power button. 
according to them like obviously here it does not turn on but when we turn it on it, it holds a charge it boots up touchscreen works and it's filled with apps from the previous user now there's a bunch of personal info on here not not a ton like photos if we go on photos there's no photos on or anything so we don't get them interesting photos unfortunately but if we go into settings here and we look at it because this is a 16 gigabyte model there is a lot of space taken up and um, the guy does have a bunch of emails on here I, I, I'll I admit I was a little bit of a sneaky snake and I did go through his emails there's nothing bad in his emails this guy was a very clean person so um, notes so he did leave some notes here some interesting poems so you know some poems had some scale formulas I don't know what these are for but he had some scale formulas another um, poem thing there and he did um, also leave a ton of music on here too that's probably what he mainly used this thing for was a shitload of music and then um, a bunch of old classic apps too so that's pretty cool so yeah these are the six iPod touch first generations that I bought for twenty dollars it was kind of just something that I wanted to see what would happen when I got these these two iPods here are definitely worth keeping and I definitely do probably want to fix these up um, some of these other iPods, though, I don't know about, especially um, this one here. This one I'll definitely be smashing for a video at some point. The rest of them, I'm not sure, though. Um, I guess we'll have to see how these things go. I'll probably just put them up somewhere and just let them sit for a while. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And go ahead and watch. Er, what? What? Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed and go ahead and follow my Twitter. If you'd like, it is at the Apple Buyer. No spaces will be in the left corner of the video. Again, thank you for watching and peace.